earlier this summer I drove my Polestar 2 from the south of Norway and all the way up to the north of Norway. It was a total distance of 2346.9 kilometers according to the car. Uh, so almost 1500 miles. And you might wonder, how much does that cost? And in this video I'm just going to go through the numbers and uh, everything from charging uh, and toll roads and the ferry. I did one ferry crossing. I've already posted five videos from the road trip uh, on my YouTube channel here. So if you're interested I, and haven't watched them yet, I'll just link them down below and then you can check them out. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you enjoy my content, please consider to hit uh, like and subscribe and maybe comment below. Um, that would always be appreciated. Thank you. Let's just uh, jump straight into it, into the numbers and uh, we'll see. So I did start from home uh, fully charged at 100%, uh, charged on my home charger. Um, I'm just going to skip that cost for now. And then I started to drive. I drove to Alvdal first, where there was an uh, Ionity charger. And in Alvdal, I did charge 44.9 kilowatt hours uh, for a total cost of 127.12 Norwegian kroner. Keep in mind that Polestar has this agreement with Ionity, so that's why it's cheaper than the the usual costs if you don't have any agreement. Um, <clears throat> next on the route, uh, I did charge at Ionity and Klett, that's just south of Trondheim. Uh, I did charge 31.6 kilowatt hours there for a total cost of 89.47 Norwegian Krone. Uh, then further on, I went to Stay in Chad, where I charged at Mer Amfi. Uh, I charged a total of 36.8 kilowatt hours, uh, paying 110.49 Norwegian kroner. Um, going further north to Mosjøen. Mosjøen, there was this 50 kilowatt charger. Uh, I had to charge 52.9 kilowatt hours. And I paid 224.83 NOC. Then the next stop was Fauske, where I charged 48.2 kilowatt hours. The cost was 160.18 Norwegian kroner. After that, I went to Narvik. And in Narvik, there was actually this uh, fast charger, and something weird happened there. So. For some reason I was not charged and I cannot find the history in the app either so uh, it turns out I didn't pay anything and I don't know how much I charged there either. So in Narvik the cost was zero Norwegian kroner. Uh, going further north I did a small stop in Birtavare. Uh, I charged 11 kilowatt hours uh, for a total cost of 53. 0.01 Norwegian Krone and then in Storslet I charged 44.22 kilowatt hours at a total cost of 210.05 Norwegian Krone then I got to Alta and in Alta I did charge uh, 63.57 kilowatt hours, so I had to charge the car to 100% to get to the next destination or the next charger. Uh, that was a total cost of 286 Norwegian kroner. And then my final charge before reaching my destination, I charged in Tana, where I did charge 26.8 kilowatt hours. Uh, that was for a total cost of 127.31 so in total for all the charging stops I paid 1388.39 Norwegian kroner. For the toll roads I did pay 56.8 Norwegian kroner. 
and the ferry crossing was 63 Norwegian kroner. Yeah, so all in all with electricity and toll roads and ferry crossing, the total cost was 1508.9 Norwegian kroner. So that is about 175 US dollars uh, for a total trip of almost 2400 kilometers of driving. I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to sum up and uh, show you the cost. So until next time, see you. And uh, of course, don't forget to hit subscribe and all those good things. Thank you. Bye.